Item number SCP-2835 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-2835 is to be permanently contained in its locker at Site-59, as its anomalous effects only surface when a human subject plays SCP-2835 in a VCR. Further viewing has been prohibited by the order of Dr. Nysmith. Description. SCP-2835 is a VHS video cassette of a previously unreleased episode of The Adventures of Patty the Pelican, a short-lived WENR TV cartoon series from the fall of 1950. The episode is titled, Love Me, Do It. SCP-2835 is longer than the average episode of the show, running for 30 minutes as opposed to 5 minutes. Although the plot remains largely the same, Patty the Pelican searching for his long-lost father, the content of SCP-2835 changes depending on the reaction of the viewer. The title character, referred to as 2835-1, will periodically interact with the viewers and prod them to express their opinion of the cartoon so far, often in a defensive, demanding, and threatening manner. Contrary to the earlier episodes of the show, SCP-2835-1 displays characteristics of extreme paranoia and demands constant affirmation. Test Log 2835-D-2239 Viewer D-2239 Begin Log Redacted for relevance So Freddy Fox knows who my real father is? Ain't that a laugh and a half? Who you were expecting my father to be? How do you know my name? No, 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 we're not doing this answer a question with a question crap. I asked you who do you think my real father is. I think I'm entitled to an answer. Do you have any idea how hard I worked on this episode? Kenny Crow's your dad? Good Christ, are you blind? Kenny and I are like the same age. I mean, where did you get the idea that he's my old man? Am I really being that confusing? I'm sorry. You're sorry. Don't care. Reap what you sow. Reap it. SCP-2835-1 begins sobbing hysterically. I'm sorry, I'm a failure. I don't know why I even bother with this show anymore. Look. Reap what you sow, cocksucker. Screen cuts to black, tape ejects. End log. Test Log 2835-D-2419 Viewer, D-2419. Begin log. Redacted for relevance. Gee whiz, I sure do love ice cream cones. How about you? Thirteen seconds of silence. I'm talking to you. Excuse me? I'm holding an ice cream cone. It looks delicious. Don't you think it looks delicious? This isn't hard. I know you didn't go to college or anything, but don't tell me you're so stupid you don't know what a good ice cream cone looks like. The fuck? Yes or no? Is this ice cream delicious? God, I put all this work into making the ice cream look tasty, and here you are twiddling your thumbs at me. Do you have any idea how disrespectful that is? Dude, your cartoon isn't even that great. A lot of the animation just cycles over itself without any regard for lip-syncing. SCP-2835-1 drops the ice cream. See that? That shit was the last mistake you ever made, you dumb hooser fuck. Are you gonna get back to the cartoon, or… No, you had your chance to watch my work respectfully, you inbred horsefucker. Then look what you did. Duh, dude, you suck. I could be a better cartoon pelican than you could ever be. I brushed my teeth with bacon grease. What's long division? I swear to God, and all his saints and angels, I'm gonna fucking scoop you. Down the throat, right in the acid. Everything you hold dear, reap what you sow. Fuck you. Reap what you sow. 2499 North. Terrence? Indiana? Your kids are adorable, especially… Do they know that their own father fed them to me? Wait, there's no way in hell that you knew. Reap what you sow. You deserve it. Everything gets what they deserve. Even the undeserving get what they deserve. But the deserving? The deserving? Oh yeah, you and everyone you love. Reap what you sow. I'm gonna enjoy every second of this. And you've got no one to blame but yourself. Reap what you sow. Reap what you sow. Reap what you sow. Reap. Screen cuts to black. Tape ejects. End log. Addendum. Effective November 19, 2016, further viewing of SCP-2835 has been suspended indefinitely by Dr. Nysmith. Note, we can't take any more chances. Even if he's bluffing, it's specific bluffing, and the implications are, at best, troubling.
Dr. Nysmith.